Hey guys, last night I had a ton of fun playing Hella Loose Zombies with the guys over at Team Dix. I was playing as Medic and just check this out. Yeah, come on, Lotto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I got you guys. I got nice. the anti zombie nice. serum right here. Okay, tits. There's at least two. Where do you guys get shot from? Ammo on my ping. Uh, he's sappy. Okay. I'm in the map. Hold on, we get I'm stuck. How do we? Shit, get down, get down. Get down, get down. My hero. Yeah, they got a spawn back here somewhere. Oh shit, shit, I heard them. Yep, just remember They're right here. Oh, they just took out the OP. I got one. So the way this works is very simple. Almost every player hold participating on, on. in the event joins one team and they all play as humans. On the opposing team, you get one or two alpha zombies. Once a human is killed, he is automatically switched by the server to the zombie team to play as one of the infected. So there is no respawning, no redeploying, nothing. Both humans and the alpha zombies can use any weapon in the game except for tanks and the commander abilities, while the infected, which are the players that used to be humans, can only use pistols. In order to win, the human team needs to survive and hold the point in the middle of the map until the time runs out. This isn't a full-on mod or anything like that, it's just a couple of server rules mixed together with some honesty to make for a cool game mode. Once the game starts, everyone rushes to the middle of the map as usual to cap the first point and dig in to repel the alpha zombies. There's not much going on here other than just waiting for the zombies to start shooting because everyone is doing their best not to be seen. Everyone is laying low and trying not to move and then slowly but surely you start getting a few casualties. And once that starts happening, things start going downhill really fast for the humans. The first round that we played was in the new map, Hill 400, which has an incredibly dense forest which just added to the inability to tell what was going on and where the zombies were coming from. It's all very chaotic, you hear gunshots, you don't want to peek because you don't want to get seen and you know it's really tense and really fun at the same time. As I mentioned earlier I was playing as medic so I had to try to save some people from turning which adds a layer of depth and strategy to the whole thing because you start to wonder if the risk is even worth it, you know? If you get killed while trying to revive someone, that's two new zombies instead of one, but there's also the chance that you might save somebody and make a difference that way. Zombies can purposely wound people to attract medics and then kill them off, or they can blow up down players using grenades to make sure that they turn to the zombie side and increase their numbers even faster. It's been roughly 10 years since I played an event like this where you're not playing by the rules but rather customizing and creating your own experience in a private server which I used to do this all the time roughly 15 years ago while playing Battlefield 1942 using custom maps using custom settings like changing the gravity in the game and things like that to make for some crazy fun experiences. Most games, especially Battlefield games, that used to be awesome for this type of things have completely lost the ability to create custom games while others like Overwatch have gone out of their way to give the community the tools that they need to have fun and do all sorts of weird things within the game. As I said, this mode gets nowhere near that level of customization but it's a fun mode nonetheless that allows you to enjoy the game in a different way and that's always refreshing, it's always fun to do stuff like that. We played two rounds, so in the second one I got the opportunity to start as an alpha zombie and I used a sniper which I thought would give me a good advantage, but the map that we were playing was much different and it was harder for me to get a clear shot. I ended up not being very effective in that round, but I had a great time nonetheless. So if you're playing Hell and Loose, and you're looking to meet people and have some fun, check out the Team Dix Discord server and don't be shy, it's very easy to sign up for these events and you know it's something different that you don't get to experience 
with most games out there. Okay, that will be all for now. Tomorrow we'll get some news on Ghost of Tsushima for PlayStation 4, and there are already some PS5 tech demos surfacing from the Summer Games Festival, so I'll probably be doing a video on that because I'm extremely excited about next-gen consoles and the PS5 in particular. So that's it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope I will catch you in the next one.